Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. In today's Gospel reading, we see that Jesus was walking by the Sea of Galilee. And the scripture says he saw two brothers, Simon, called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting nets into the sea, for they were fishermen. This is the very beginning of Christ's ministry on earth. The only thing that he had done prior to this was to go to the marriage at Canaan, where he performed his first miracle. And prior to this, he had spoken in the temple, but he really had not taught as the Messiah. So he had only been to the marriage at Cana, and now it was time for him to start his earthly ministry. And he saw these two brothers, Simon, called Peter, and Andrew, and they were fishing on the shores of the Sea of Galilee. And he said to them, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Just as he tells us through the Holy Spirit today, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. To each and every one of us. And what does the scripture say? It says they immediately, they immediately left their nets, and they followed him. They didn't think about it. They didn't take a day or two to ponder it. They didn't go home and discuss it with their family. Instead, they immediately left their nets and they followed Jesus. And going on from there, he saw two other brothers, James the son of Zebedee and John his brother, in the boat with Zebedee, their father, mending their nets. And he called to them, and he immediately they left their boat and their father, and followed him. They left Zebedee in the boat. And they left and they followed Jesus. I can imagine what Zebedee must have thought. Must have thought they were out of their mind. But when Jesus calls, he expects us to respond immediately. You remember in last week's gospel, we were reading about if we are ashamed of him, he will be ashamed of us. If we don't take up our cross and follow him, then we're not worthy of him. And today, we see the example in his choosing of the disciples. He called them. They left immediately, and they followed him to do the will of God. And Jesus went about all of Galilee, teaching in the synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all kinds of diseases and sicknesses among the people. <coughs> And the verse that follows this last verse in today's Gospel reading says, Then his fame went throughout all Syria, and they brought to him all sick people who were afflicted with various diseases and torments, those who were demon-possessed, epileptics, and paralytics, and he healed them. Jesus was the first saint, the saint of all saints. And the saints that followed after him emulated him and were just like him in various ways. But Jesus had compassion on the people. He went out and he preached and he taught and he healed. And he did everything in his power to bring them to the kingdom of God. Can we say the same about ourselves? Is that our first priority? is to go out and to teach and to preach, to heal in God's name, and to bring those who are lost in the darkness of our world and our society into the light of the kingdom of heaven. Is that our first priority? Or are our priorities more self-centered? Do we care about the things of this world more than we care about preaching and teaching and healing? The disciples that followed Jesus were men of great character. They were not easily swayed. They wouldn't go and do this on a whim. Certainly the power of the Holy Spirit 
was over them, even though they didn't even know that the Holy Spirit existed. The power of God and the power of the Holy Spirit inspired them and softened their hearts and showed them that they should follow this man, that this man had authority that they did not have, and that this man had authority from which they knew nothing and where it came from. All they knew was he was a powerful man, and the Spirit of God overcame them, and they did what he told them to do. That's what has to happen in our lives. The Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, must overcome us. We must be receptive to it. And then we, we are receptive to it, we will be guided and led and told what to do and how to do it. We have to step out in faith. Sometimes we don't know exactly what to do, but the Holy Spirit will guide us and help us. But we must take the first step, just like these disciples did in today's gospel. We must take the first step and follow Christ and leave behind those things that will distract us and leave behind those things that will prevent us and become an obstacle in our lives from us achieving the greatness of the saints that we celebrate today. The saints of North America, whom we celebrate today in the church, they did the same thing. <clears throat> they left everything. And they came to America. And they became great saints in America by preaching and teaching and healing and helping. And we have them as an example. Let us pray to them and ask for their guidance and their mediation and ask them to help us understand the still small voice of the Holy Spirit in our lives and how it is to guide us and help us as we go along this path. And let us pray to God that he will help us and guide us, forgive us first of all, and then teach us how he wants us to follow him. When, where, why. And give us the strength that we too can be like the disciples. And we too can be like the great saints of North America.